I don't have a direct answer. The reason why I don't have a direct answer is because it depends on your length of relationship and your knowledge about them to begin with. Okay. Uh, because perhaps they've performed on previous properties and you have a seven year relationship with them. And now for whatever reason, they're just not performing or not communicating with you properly on this property. In that scenario, I would give them a longer leash. Um, what that longer leash is, I don't exactly know. Um, I mean, I certainly would say that if the let's talk about execution so if they're not executing so um the expenses are higher uh, the the uh property is not at the right occupancy but the comps and that's the key you want to make sure it's not the market you want to make sure it actually is the <laughs> management company yeah um because you need to be aware of what the market comps are doing uh, so are is the occupancy similar to your property or, or is your property performing below the market? If it's performing below the market, then there's your red flag and you find out, you can find out by um, talking to brokers in the area. You could find out by talking to other property management companies. Um, if you have a pre-existing relationship with them, you wanna be careful there because if you're talking to other property management companies and you have a current property management company and those two talk to each other, which you know they probably know each other already, then you might be um, putting yourself in hot water unnecessarily if you're simply trying to find information. So I recommend talking to a broker first versus the property, other property managers. But find out if it truly is a execution problem or if it is a market problem. Okay. You don't want to put blame unnecessarily uh, to a management company if it's not their problem. But then um, if it is a execution problem and you're seeing your numbers go down, then um, also make sure it's not a seasonality problem or something that is wrong uh, with your property because perhaps your property doesn't have an amenity or uh, isn't in a particular location, even though you've got market comps, but maybe the market comps are on a main thoroughfare with a lot of traffic, whereas yours is tucked away a little bit on a side street. So you really want to identify that it is their problem, not the um, not not a market or even the place where the property is located or certain components of it. But once you've narrowed all that down, you eliminated those variables, then I, I would give it a quarter, one quarter, okay. three months is my um, my uh, my assessment. Uh, and again, I don't have a direct answer because it depends on many variables, but three months time where they're just not cutting it and you've had conversations along the way and the market and other competing properties are passing you by on rent premiums and occupancy and your and or your expenses are higher than normal, then you need to make the switch. From a communication standpoint, same thing. Um, you'll know pretty quickly if the communication just isn't there uh, unless there is a new person who is your point person because sometimes well, a lot of times there can be turnover in the management uh, business and when you have turnover different people have different communication styles so make sure it's not the individual individual but rather the process because if it's the individual then perhaps you can have that individual replaced with a different individual that will be your point person. 